on this episode of Picker Road, we're going to be doing things a little bit different. Unfortunately, Gary and Harleen are both under the weather. They have the flu. So they asked me to go out and pick today. And later, my brother and I are going to visit an iconic piece of Americana and have some delicious hot dogs. You won't want to miss that. So buckle up and join the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way, we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Okay, we are at our favorite Goodwill here in Vegas. We're going to see what we can find. All right, gonna start in the glassware. And uh, of course, we're always looking for more of those really nice painted wine glasses. And I love going through the mugs, always looking for Starbucks mugs and collectible mugs. Ooh, right away I see a Golden Knights one. That's a lot of fun. They want $7.99 for that. Let's see what else we can find here. All right, Mr. Claus, that's pretty fun. 69 cents. That is very clean. I think I'm going to grab that for our upcoming Christmas show. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, look at the llama. I love spring. Yeah, a bit early for that. He's a no drama llama though. Oh, look at this Corvette mug. That's a lot of fun. Those older designs, vintage. 99 cents for that. Looks relatively clean on the inside. I don't see any chips. I think I'm going to grab that for 99 cents. Got a Scrabble mug, tea and coffee. That's really fun. I loved playing Scrabble with my grandmother when I was a kid. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, we're back in the holiday section and we're gonna see what we can find back here. Look at that. It's definitely a llama kind of day here. Wild Eye Designs Wine Stopper. He's a Christmas llama for $1.99, and I think he is fantastic. I'm not seeing an original price tag on him, but I'm thinking at $1.99, that's a nice pickup for the holidays. Let's put that in the cart. What else do we have here in the Christmas mugs? We've definitely got a mug shot here. I see Snowman. Feels very inexpensive. Now, these here are not spodes because they don't have a Santa on top. Made in China, of course. All right, moving on down this way. Let's see, that is a Teleflora right there. Of course, I'm always looking for Lennox. We've had very good luck getting Lennox at this particular Goodwill. Feels a uh, almost wrong to be here without Harleen. Missing her a lot right now, hoping she's feeling better. Can't wait to get back out picking with her. I'm sure she'll be back to 100% by the next video. All right, let's turn the corner and see what we can dig. This is always the digging spot back here. Aw, look at the rooster, fresh eggs. That's really fun. Feels very inexpensive, probably a Ross piece. So we're gonna leave that but this is my favorite section back here because we have found uranium glass and we have found antiques and amazing things back here, but you really, really have to dig and you have to look down low. So let's see if we can find something. That's an Ikea right there. We've got some very inexpensive feeling clear glass. I'm going to keep on going down here. And what do we have here? That's a big piece. Let's see if we can dig that out and see what that is. That is made in Italy, but unfortunately it's got some chips there. So we are going to go ahead and leave that. Let's see the Grand Hotel Paris, France. I'm feeling like that's a reproduction. We've got a shellfish bag of shellfish. Aww. He's a little project piece. He's fun. Somebody did him in 2016. Look at that. What's this guy? Very, very light. Oh no, that's so cool. I have a feeling that there was probably an Elvis figure on top of that and it's missing the Las Vegas. So 
that's a leave, unfortunately. Let's keep on looking down here, see what else we can find. Uh-oh. He's a hoot. Oh, uh, he was only $3 to begin with, and they want $3.99 for him. Hashtag goodwill fail. This is a heavy piece. Way too heavy to ship, unfortunately. Let's move along and see what's down here. Look at all those chefs. I would say that's too many chefs in, in one kitchen, right? But I'm bum What's this back here? Now, it's coming up on Halloween, so I'd say maybe that's the Headless Pilgrim. Okay, we're over in the vases now, and I'm always looking for Lennox in this section. I have found Lennox here, what, two out of the last four times that we've been here, so very high success rate. Obviously, that's not Lennox, that's Isaac Mizrahi. Wow, okay. I am going to take a oh, I was going to take a second and look it up, but it's got a big chip right there on the top. That's too bad. I would have definitely been interested in Isaac Mizrahi. We have back here Made in Japan. That feels like an older piece. Looks like somebody peeled the tag off of it, so we don't even know how much it costs. Let's keep on looking. A lot of little pictures here. A lot of Made in Japan pictures. Interesting. I wonder if somebody donated their entire picture collection. Now, is that supposed to be an owl? I can't quite tell. It looks like it. I'm just going to go ahead and say he's a hoot. $2.99. He feels very modern. He feels like something that maybe came out of like a home goods. So I'm going to pass on him. But he's still a hoot. That's for certain. All right. Look at this green glass here. Let's take a look at that and see. Where's my trusty black light? I doubt it does, but I'm going to take a look. Nope. Does not glow. Always worth giving it a try. One of these days. Keep on looking over here. Nope, nothing here. And, oh, look at these pieces here. That's $26 original price. They ask $5.99 for that. And then they've got a much bigger brother of it right there at $19.99, red tagged, of course. All right, let's keep on going. All right, we're doing a little pass through of the art now, and we're going to see what we can find here. Huh, a framed photo of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Now, I never got big into wrestling, but I remember when I was a kid, all of my friends thought that Gary looked like Stone Cold Steve Austin. What do you guys think? I think Gary's a lot nicer looking than that, don't you? Let's see what else we can find here. Let's take a look over at the smaller framed works. Aw, Llama. Dia de los Muertos coming up in a few weeks. And then, all right, so we've got smaller framed art here. I like that. It's made to look old, so it's not really old. If that was an actual antique, that would be in the cart so quickly. Let's see, is this an older frame here? Oh my goodness, that's heavy. That is so heavy. That is... Now I'm looking at the, um, the, the uh, screws in the back there. This is an extremely heavy piece. I'm trying to determine if it's actually old or if it's just made to look old. I, I'm really on the fence about this. It's $3.99. And I, I'm getting the feeling that it is actually old. I don't see Made in China or anything on it. So for $3.99, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And right next to it is a cross stitch. I'm trying to see what that says. 1994. Not quite old enough to uh, pick up. It was professionally framed at Michael's. I'm going to put that back in there. And I see the American Eagle behind it. What's that? Certificate of Appreciation for Uniformed Units from 2002. Okay, a lot newer than I thought that would be. Wouldn't it be something if you found like a piece of Civil War memorabilia in here? Like, you know, that, which I'm sure was not actually done in 1879. All right. 
let's keep on going. I was just going through some of the kitchen wares and I saw this lovely little, it's almost like a picnic basket. And I opened it up and look at that. They're little cheese knives, like a cheese knife spread set. They won $2.99 for it and it says made in Japan. I think that's really cute. It looks like they've never been used. So we're going to put that in the cart for sure. And over here, I just saw this set of four Lucite cup holders. We're going to do the black light on them. And sure enough, they are Lucite. They want $1.99 for those. I don't see any chips on them. I think the designs are fantastic. We're going to definitely pick that up as well. And just taking a quick little look at the baggies here. Oh, I love that little dog there. But I can see from here that his ear is broken. So he's going to have to be a pass. We've got some shells, of course. And then down here, I am not going to be coy about that. Those are fun. Now, they're not marked. They got older hangers on them. They want $5.99 for the whole bag, but there's definitely some damage on them. So I'm going to pass on those. And let's take a look back here. I see some bears. Aw, those are fun. Can we see the backs on any of them? If any of them have markings... Uh, they don't have markings, and that one right there is just completely broken. That's unfortunate. All right, let's move over here now. Oh, we got a pineapple. That's a fun pineapple votive. They want $1.99 for that. Again, I would worry about trying to ship all of those little leaves. I'm sure that they would break in the mail. And then down here, we got some bears. They're Valentine's bears, and Valentine's Day is a very far 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 time away so we're going to pass on those as well all right so last time i was here i absolutely cleaned out the vinyls i got so many amazing titles let's see if there's any others maybe they put out a few more we're looking for those big names of course like last time we got elton john and there's neil sadaka right there up top, we got some Andy Williams. We've got some big band stuff. Let's see what's down here. We've got the best of Count Daisy. Oh, that's fantastic. Count Daisy in Kansas City. Oh, I like those. Hey, I like jazz. I'm going to pick those up for 99 cents a piece. Stick those in the cart. And let's see what's back behind these. Ah, Frankie Lane. All right. And then down to the bottom, we got more Neil Sedaka. Funny Lady starring Barbara Streisand. And the soundtrack to Exodus. Okay. Okay, we're at our second Goodwill. And it's another one of my favorites, of course. It's the one with the Welcome to Vegas sign at the entrance. Let's head back to the hard goods and see what we can find. All right, so we just got here, and the first thing that I saw is that they had a whole bunch of mystery jewelry vases out. There were four of them. I went through them really carefully because they were all expensive. They were $20 and $25 a piece. I picked two of them, so I'm taking a $45 gamble on these, but I saw some really interesting stuff in there, including some things that glow. I'll show them to you after I check out. They're holding them behind the counter. All right, let's get in there and see what we can find. All right, we're in the holiday section here, and starting in Christmas time. So we're at the end of the year and we're going to work our way backwards. Let's see what we can find. Right now I'm a little more interested in Owlene. There's some fall stuff. Oh, look at the scarecrows with the pumpkins. Those are great. Really nice. How much are those? They're new product, of course, and they are $3.99. They're very light, though. So we're going to leave those. Let's turn the corner. All right. More Christmas stuff. More holidays here. Look at that nutcracker. Ooh. I think they lost their head a little bit. And is that a Christmas sloth? Aw. Look at that smile. That's fantastic. What do we have over here? We got a lot of dishware plates. Got the chicken there. He's not a Christmas chicken, though. I don't know why he's in the Christmas section. All right, moving down this way. Of course, I'm always looking for my owls. Is that a Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville parrot? Nope, he's a Sonoma lifestyle. He's a photo holder. Isn't that great? That's fun. What else do we have down here? That's very well done. Looks like somebody else was peeling the tag off, trying to get info on it, but it's not marked. Uh-oh. 
He's a broken hoot. Aw, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do when they're broken? Breaks my heart. And then there's another one there. He's a bank, but he's very inexpensive. He's $1.99. I think I'm gonna pass on him. Let's keep looking and see what we can find down here. Look at the, the duck. He's a quack. Yes, I'm going there. I'm doing it with every bird. $1.99 for the salt and pepper. I'm going to check these for chips because if there's no chips, they're fantastic. They are so going in the cart. $1.99 each. That's great. What do we have over here? Always looking for Lennox. Let's see. Somebody else peeled that label back. Up here, very heavy. It's got a signature on it. So let's take a look. $5.99. And it's signed AR. It's very heavy though, so I don't think I want to get into shipping that. It's got a matching piece there with it. Over here, we've got this lovely light blue elephant. And down below, always looking for a fine piece of Native American pottery or Tanala. Oh wow, look at that. That's Aztec Incan. Central American. Very, very heavy. Let's see what's... Oh, look at the little turtle. He's from Acapulco. Don't really get those kinds of tourist pieces, though, because they're so specific, and I've never been to Acapulco myself. Let's see what's down here. This is hand-painted in England. Flowers by... Regina Crafts, it looks like it says, $2.99, and chips everywhere, of course. All right, let's keep on looking. All right, so I found this piece here, and it is marked F and F, which is Fitz and Floyd. I'm going to do a quick Google lookup on that and see if I can get more info about it. I don't see any chips, and I think it's fantastic. I'm guessing something over there has chips after that sound. Let's see what this is. Okay, I looked it up, and sure enough, this is a vintage Fitz and Floyd clamshell dish, and it sells very well, so that's definitely going to be a pickup. Let's check out the mugs. All right, I love a good mug shot. Let's see if we can find any mugs that we can take home here. What's this guy here? Oh, Stockholm, Sweden. Okay. That's an interesting one. I know a little Swedish because I went to school with a lot of Swedish friends. I know school is cheer, so school. What do we have up on the top shelf here? Okay, so there's a... Okay, that's interesting. It's a little, like, thought bubble that you can write uh, chalk on. I don't think I'd like to do that because then I would get chalk in my mouth when I go to take a sip of my hot coffee. Let's put that right back where we got it. Okay, let's move on from the mugs and see what else we can find. All right, we are in the section that they have labeled kitchen glass now. I'm just going to see what we can find in here. That's very pretty. Look at that. I don't think those go together, but they've been put together. Made in where is the question? Made in Turkey? Turkey, wow, okay. $2.99. That's, that's very pretty. I just don't like the transfer on it, though, so I'm going to pass on that. Let's keep on going, see what else we can find here. Going down the way. Look at the size of that. Thanksgiving is coming, but again, that's not going to be an easy one to ship. What else do we have down in the kitchen section? Oh, it's kind of a chef day, isn't it? We're finding all the chef shakers. $4.99 for the pair. Those are really funny. Missing this bottom, so we're going to go ahead and leave those. Look at all the platters. Oh, that's fun. Look at that one. Wouldn't that be great for like a tiki bar? Aloha Surf's Up Tiki Time. It's very light. Oh, it got me. It's like a, it's a home goods piece. Okay, let's keep on going. 
Okay, so I'm over in the large art section, and I saw this piece right here, and I just wanted to look at it. It's a very large vintage photo of the Hoover Dam, and it reminds me of that wonderful day several months ago when we went out there, and we spent the day picking in Boulder City, and we visited the Hoover Dam. It looks to me like somebody did an entire collection of these old photos. You can see that's the Colorado River leading up to the dam, and then... I see two more back here. Yep, look at that. Wow. A whole collection of vintage Hoover Dam poster prints. These are fantastic old photographs. They probably have some great value to them, but they're just too large and at $15 a piece, that would be a lot of money to tie up on a set of one, two, three, four, five, six different prints. All right, let's move on. I tell you, the art section today is just giving me all the nostalgia in the world. Look at the Mona Lisa, just like we saw the real one in Paris a few months ago. Boy, I miss picking with mom and dad. I can't wait for them to feel better and we get out here together again. All right, let's check out and go pick up those mystery vases. Okay, so I just got out to the car and I want to show you the mystery vases that I got. These were fantastic. There's some glowy in there, some vintage pieces. Really great. So I got two of them. That one was 25 and this one here was 20 And there's some really interesting vintage pieces in this one. I'm really curious to open these up. Of course, like always, we will open them up live on WhatNot with all of you. So you'll see as we see. All right. I think it's time that we go visit a very, very famous car and get some delicious hot dogs. Let's head out. For our treat, my brother David and I are checking out the world-famous Oscar Mayer Wienermobile, which is paying a visit to Las Vegas today. There are actually eight of these iconic vehicles that travel the country at any given time, and you can go online and see where they're visiting. Naturally, we're going to have a delicious hot dog after seeing this classic piece of American pop culture in person. Well, we enjoy our hot dogs. Let's recap today's finds. Thank you so much for watching. Gary and Harleen will be back for the next video. In the meantime, please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring that bell so you always know when a video is going to premiere. Because we want you to join the journey.